This is the village of Arrow. It lies in the rainforest in western Nigeria. The people are of the Yoruba tribe. They are farmers, traders, and fishermen. Although it's only 60 miles from here to Lagos, the federal capital, not many people bother to make the trip. All that goes on in Arrow becomes the business of the chief, because he and his elders are responsible for the well-being of everyone in the village. In times of illness or crisis, the people go to the healer or witch doctor. Mr. Oji is part priest, part physician. His is a family profession, practiced for generations. The healer, the chief, and many of the villagers of Arrow are employed in a remarkable experiment. And Arrow is very different from other Nigerian villages. Two-fifths of the inhabitants of Arrow are mentally sick. This film is about why and how the experiment was started and about the man chiefly responsible for it, Dr. Thomas Adeyoye Lambo. Dr. Lambo is head of the Department of Psychiatry at University College Hospital in Ibadan, the largest teaching hospital in West Africa. It's part of the University of Ibadan. Dr. Thomas Lambo was the first Nigerian to qualify as a psychiatrist. Now, he's also an administrator and a lecturer. He's active in research and a consultant to the World Health Organization. Uh, the pain always, um, is always constant and um, I find it very difficult to concentrate for a long time. Now you are a little bit depressed, you don't sleep well, you've got, you've got discomfort all over your body. Anything else? Uh, you complained of palpitations. Yes, I'm having some sounds in the ear. Sounds in your ear. Yeah. Some whistlings. Whistlings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you don't know what is being whistled. Yes, sir. I don't know what is being whistled. Coming from outside or from inside. From inside. When you try to concentrate to read anything, your head will feel as if it's it was breaking into two. Yes, because um, Dr. Lambo's uh, clinic is always crowded. People come from great distances to see him. But the psychiatric ward at the hospital is small, and few can be admitted to beds. One month's appointment. Most patients get prescriptions for drug therapy. Some come for daily treatment. Many are referred to the general wards. In tropical countries, it is often hard to draw a clear line between mental and physical sickness. Malaria, parasitic diseases, even malnutrition, all can have psychiatric symptoms. Some forms of sleeping sickness closely resemble schizophrenia. These are problems of diagnosis. Drugs exist. Treatment can be given. But for some, there is no clear prescription. In fact, it was when I went to... Matthew was born in a small village. He is studying economics at the University of Ibadan. Just before examinations, he had a breakdown. Um, and then the head is increased, or rather all the... My health deteriorated so much. I was going to the, um, to the university clinic. In a sense, Matthew is a casualty of development, a victim of the economic change that is convulsing the societies of Africa. Sometimes for other minor ailments, but at the time, 